Here's another example. f of x is 7x squared. Find the slope at x equals 3. So what we're going to calculate is the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x minus f of 3 over x minus 3. Okay, the limit as x approaches 3, f of x is just 7x squared, and f of 3 is going to be 7 times 3 squared, which is 7 times 9, which is 63 over x minus 3. Now, can we take the limit? Well, if we put in a 3, here we get a 0 over 0, but we can simplify the expression. So we have the limit as x approaches 3. I'm going to factor out a 7, and I get x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. And x squared minus 9 obviously factors. So I have 7x plus 3 times x minus 3 over x minus 3. And there we go. So this is just going to be the limit as x approaches 3 of 7 times x plus 3. And now it's obvious at this point. As x gets really close to 3, x plus 3 gets really close to 6, and so 7 times that will get really close to 42. And 42 is our answer. And here's one more example. f of x is x squared minus 6x plus 5. Find the slope of this curve at x equals negative 3. So we'll find the limit as x approaches negative 3 of f of x minus f of negative 3 over x minus negative 3. So we're going to need to find f of negative 3. So let's figure that out. We, we need that to plug in right here. So f of negative 3 is going to be negative 3 squared minus 6 times negative 3 plus 5. And what's that? 9 plus 18 plus 5. 9 plus 18 is 27 plus 5 is 32. So our problem then becomes the limit as x approaches negative 3 of f of x, which is this, so I'll write x squared minus 6x plus 5 minus f of negative 3. So I'll write minus 32 over, and the denominator is x plus 3. So this will be the limit as x approaches negative 3. And let's just consolidate those two terms. That's easy. x squared minus 6x minus 27 over x plus 3. And this is going to factor and simplify. Again, if we were to actually plug in a 3 here and here and here, we'd end up with 0 over 0. So instead, we try to simplify this expression. And we get the limit as x approaches negative 3. And this factors as x plus 3 times x minus 9. And we divide by x plus 3, and these guys cancel out. So this just equals the limit as x approaches negative 3 of x minus 9. And that's easy. You can practic practically do that at a glance. As x gets really close to negative 3, this will get really close to negative 12. And that's our answer. That's the slope of this function, that parabola, when x is equal to negative 3.